Breaking cruise news, a ship has caught fire and another cruise ship has come to the rescue. We're going to get you the details on that. Additionally, we have the top cruise industry news headlines from the major cruise lines and we're going to get you all the information fast coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and kick this off with number one. The Bahamas are reporting that they have uncovered a human smuggling ring. The officials from the Bahamas said they have detained 22 foreigners and that this included men, women, and children from multiple nationalities. The nationalities included people from Ecuador, Dominican Republic, Haiti, and Brazil. And they were in a vessel that was flying a U.S. flag. The Royal Bahamas Police Force said they received information regarding the human smuggling ring that led to the police action. Number two, the Norwegian Epic cruise ship is coming to Port Canaveral. Recently, Norwegian Cruise Line announced cancellations for four months of the ship's European sailings that began in December of this year. And now we know why. The Norwegian Epic cruise ship will now be home porting in Port Canaveral for the winter 2023 and 2024 season. Moving on to number three, the MSC Seaside cruise ship has submitted their correction report. At the end of April, the CDC conducted an inspection of the MSC Seaside cruise ship. They found 43 deficiencies and the ship scored 67 out of 100 and it requires an 86 or higher to pass the inspection. The MSC Seaside score represented one of the lowest scores in decades. The ship has now submitted their corrective action report to the CDC and that report is available on the CDC website. The CDC has not verified the sufficiency of the corrections that will take place at the CDC's next inspection of the cruise ship. Okay, we have several cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day, but quick question, chime in below. Yesterday we asked whether or not you would be interested in cruising on the Margaritaville at Sea Paradise cruise ship. Had mixed reviews on who would cruise on that and who would not, but another similar question today, my family is thinking about booking a cruise on the MSC Seaside, the same cruise ship that had this abysmal score but the prices are really good so we're thinking about it so question for you chime in below would you be interested in a cruise on the MSC Seaside would you do it chime in below with A for yes or B for no and would love your input on that but now on with the cruise news Number four, the Maritime Accident Report for the month of May has been released. The Maritime Accident Report it gathers data globally for all large vessels. This includes cruise ships, container vessels, and large fishing vessels. During the month of May, the Maritime Report is reporting that there were a total of 67 accidents, one ship was lost, there were 41 fatalities, and three crew members were kidnapped. Now it is very rare that there will be someone reported as kidnapped on this report. It has only happened one other time that I can remember. When it occurred that time, individuals did ask what that was about and what exactly occurred. And in this report, it does not give the specifics of those incidents. Again, this is a global report and includes all different types of large vessels. So I'll see if I can find more information on those kidnappings. Definitely interesting and very sad. And then in travel related news, number five, information has been released on American spending for some vacations this year. For the first time ever, spending will cross the $200 billion mark. Summer vacation spending this year is expected to be $214 billion. That is a 10% increase compared to last year. And get this, that is a 111% increase compared to pre-pandemic 2019. Number six, a ship has caught on fire. This happened on board the Wilderness Discoverer Expedition ship around 7.30 yesterday morning. The ship is operated by Uncruise Adventures and was on an Alaska sailing in Glacier Bay National Park at the time. Thankfully, the Sapphire Princess cruise ship was in the area and they received a call from the Coast Guard asking them to assist. The Princess cruise ship was able to rescue 67 people from the vessel. The fire was extinguished and some crew members are remaining on board as the ship is tugged to catch a can. Thankfully, there were no injuries. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video.